And then the crowd, or something called crowdsourcing. Um, Wikipedia is a great example of that. Why is Wikipedia trustworthy? Why is Wikipedia authoritative? Why is Wikipedia definitive? When I find something and it's, um, and it's on Wikipedia, I'm likely to trust it. But what's the basis of that trust? It's not because of experts, it's not because of algorithms, it's not even because of popularity. It's because lots and lots and lots of people have looked at it. Now this is really interesting because it's so new, it's so different than that old model of authority coming from experts. This is authorities coming from lots and lots of people simultaneously looking at this thing and all checking it over. And if lots and lots of people are checking it over, it must be okay, it must be right. I've experienced this many times in this very class where there's 150 people out there in the audience all looking at my slide and among those 150 people, somebody's got to find the problem. Somebody's got to find the error. Somebody's got to find the thing that I missed or I didn't think about. And so that's an example of the crowd. This idea of crowdsourcing has gone really far and there's lots and lots of really, really interesting examples of crowdsourcing. One that I really love the most is called Mechanical Turk. And I think Mechanical Turk is, I think it's owned by Amazon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's owned by Amazon. Yeah, not Am it's not owned by Google, it's owned by Amazon. This Mechanical Turk is hundreds of thousands of people or millions of people all around the world all getting little jobs. And so if I want my college paper edited, you might take advantage of this actually. I submit my college paper to Mechanical Turk and it goes out among the entire world, this huge crowd of people, and someone's going to look at it across the world. So that's a huge base of... Is it expertise? It's hard to know. We hope it's expertise. We hope the people who are creating the Wikipedia articles are the world's experts on that, on that information and they're self-selected so we don't know or not. But the idea remains that if lots and lots of people are looking at this thing, it must be, and they've all gone over it and they've all put input into it and they've all edited it and they've all changed it, it must be pretty authoritative because the crowd is right. That's an interesting idea and it's opposed to the expert is right. The expert is right or is the crowd right? And I'll let you kind of decide that on an individual basis in different places that you visit. All right, so this is the idea of vetting. Before the web, I vetted pretty much solely on the, on the basis of expertise. After the web, I vet or decide whether something is authoritative, decide whether it gets through by expertise, but also by algorithm and also by social ranking and also by the crowd, by crowd like by mob techniques, the crowd must know, the crowd must make something authoritative.